We Hustle Daily, what's going on Hustle Nation? We about to go ahead and do a review on the FX2000 OBD2 scanner, all right? So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, it's supposed to check transmission codes and everything. So it just comes in this box here. Let me get it out for y'all. Doop, doop, doop. So just the cord itself, the scanner itself. All right. And this is the end cell. All right here, you can see it right here on the front. Bling. You feel me? And it just comes with an extra cord here. So you can do the update and everything like that. On yeah, so just a regular cord, USB. Right. So let's go ahead and hook this mug up. And let's see what this mug got. Really, um, I like the scanners that do the transmissions and stuff because Y'all know I just be using my regular uh, Degler one. Excuse my ashy hands. I am so sorry about this, all right? So we got uh, the OBD2 port up under here. Let's see, like that there. Beep, beep. All right, system is verifying. Please wait. Let's see what we got. So we're going to go diagnose. diagnose. OBD2 processing. Uh oh. Okay, so it's give you the I am ready to monitors and everything. Just push OK. Okay, so you can read codes here. It shouldn't have no codes on this vehicle. Go exit. Y'all know about I am readiness? Do you know? If you don't, make sure y'all head on over to whdacademy.com. It shows you live data here. So as you can see, it shows you everything. Uh, engine coolant temperature. Oh wait, I went too far back. So engine coolant temperature is 91 RPM. Ignition timing advanced cylinder vehicle speed. So that's just like the live data and everything like that. Let's go back. Oops, I won't click the wrong button. Just the back button. Back button. So O2 sensor test. It also tests your O2 sensors, which is perfect. And it'll take it'll check one by one. So you can see bank one, sensor one. We just gonna click one for right now. Oh, this vehicle does not support. Okay, here we go. So that one worked. So bank one sensor two works on this car. Uh, rich to lean sensor time, minimum sensor voltage, and maximum sensor voltage. So boom, you can click it. And you can see that the status is passed right here at the bottom. So that is perfect. So now, like if you got an O2 sensor code, this scanner can literally just check the O2 sensor for you. You don't have to really like guess, right? Um, just when it gives you an O2 sensor code. Sometimes it'll give you the right one, but sometimes, you know, some cars be acting funny. EVAP test, this is perfect. Check this out. I didn't even know it did this. Okay, system test not supported. Okay, so maybe it's not supported on this vehicle here. Vehicle information, gives you the VIN number and everything of the car. Let's go back, let's go back, yes. Let's go over to scan. So we got a Mercedes that we're in right now. I don't want to pass it. Wait, did I pass it? Lexus. So it looks like it doesn't have Mercedes on here. Oh. It does, bins. Uh, we got a CLS, so. Let's see if we got CLS on here. We in a, we in a, we in a car that ain't really on the streets like that. You know what I'm saying? SLS. Uh, CLK 
CLS, there we go. Uh, CLS. This is a, um, what is this? A 07. So as of 06. So I don't think it has the 07. So we're just gonna click 06 because it's the same body style and stuff. Gasoline engine, left hand steering, and we are in the 550. There we go. Automatic, checking the transmission and everything. Sorry about that, that's my phone right here. Okay. Let's check the transmission. Read fault codes. We shouldn't have no fault. See, boom. We have no fault codes on here. So this thing is good. You can clear your codes, your transmission codes. Um, we are in a V8. We got the um, ABS brakes. We got the SRS, so which is the airbag and stuff like that. Um, like we read the codes here. You can clear the codes. We don't got no airbag codes, no anything like that. Um, no brake codes and we are cylinder eight so and you can also read the codes here which we already seen oh diagnose intake manifold open circuit sensors shift okay so we got a code that i didn't even know right so the, this scanner actually goes deep you know what i'm saying into what you want to go now i could clear it but i'm gonna just leave this car alone i don't want to mess nothing up right now we don't have anything else on the dash but that's the good thing about this scanner and good scanners it'll show you like more than what you you know what i'm saying than your regular scanner would so this is perfect let's go back wait what's, what button is this here okay let's go back but yeah, y'all see it, um, and then we can also go to review here. So uh, we can review it here. This is the spin number, view data stream, pre, so you could delete, upload record, everything. So the link will be in the description for this scanner here if you would like to use it. It is the Ansel FX2000. Again, it checks transmissions, ABS codes for your brakes. SRS for your um, airbag everything you need will be in here you seen we just we got a code that I didn't even know we had you know what I mean so I'm gonna have to look into that so link will be in the description for this scanner um, first link in the description below and it's gonna be pinned in the comment section so if you want to use a scanner great scanner to use as you can see we just like I told y'all we just came across something that I didn't even know we had all right so I appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking this video, watching this review. I love you guys. It's your boy Ray, Big Play Ray. I'm out. Peace. What's going on, Hustle Nation? WHDacademy.com. If you're interested in learning all my tips and tricks, how to properly inspect cars, and how to get your dealer license, the link is in the description below.